Right, what we're looking at today is this development drawing of these two pipes. So it's a pentagonal pipe and a hexagonal pipe uh, interpenetrating. Um, the idea is that we need to figure out the curve of interpenetration first, and then we can do the developments of the branch pipe and then the main pipe. Okay, uh, it's uh, 716 in the grade 11 HSE textbook and uh, hopefully we can get through it. Right, first things first, let us just get the numbering correct. Uh, they've given you an auxiliary view over there, and they've given you the, uh, the two pipes in the front view and the two pipes in the top view. They didn't give you an auxiliary view there. You must draw that in. It's absolutely vital for this drawing. Please make sure that that is drawn in. Note the direction that this um, hexagon is drawn over here. Note the direction that the um, hexagon is drawn in over there. All right. Um, okay, get this numbering down. Very, very important. You'll see number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Note where number one is. It's over here. Number one, two, three, four, five, and six. That is vitally important that you get that numbering in correctly. Um, otherwise, you are going to have issues. Um, if you don't understand the numbering, I did a little video on why that numbering needs to be done in the previous um, interpenetrations and development videos that I've done. Right, um, okay, let's start. Let's start by just having a look at the development drawing and hopefully you'll get the idea as to what we're meant to be doing. First of all, I'm going to find that point over, you, over there. That's very, very easy. You just need to take a line which is going to come out from line six. Okay, there's line six. Why am I choosing line six? Well, line six is the one that is closest to us. It'll be on this line over here. Um, let's just transfer. There's line six. And in this view, line six is on this line over there. There's line six. Line six intersecting at this point on the surface AE. Okay, we need to find out where that surface is, and how do I do that? I find myself a set square, and I draw a line going up from where it intersects on AE, and where, it, where those two lines intersect over there. That is my point that I need to draw that line out to. There it is. Okay, now the temptation for a lot of you is that you go... Fantastic. All I need to do is just to draw a line going straight from there to there and straight from there to there. Curve done. All right. That's not how this drawing needs to be done. You'll note over here, those lines don't just go straight up to that point and that point. You need to find out where that, those two points are over there to do this curve correctly. How do I do that? Well, the reason why you've got the funny points over there is that we've got this line A, this vertical line A, there it is going up, and this line B also vertically going up over there. I'm going to take some construction lines across here from A, and it goes through this auxiliary view over here that I said was very important. Let's just have a look at this. Um, I'm going to label these two points where it's cutting this hexagon. I'm going to call that S and I'm going to call that T over there. Right, what we need to do is to find those two points, S and T, on this auxiliary view over here. I've got a distance from 6 to T, and you'll note that it's not exactly in the middle. It's uh, much closer to 6 than it is to 5. So from 6 to T, and same, same distance over here from 6 to S. So I find 6 up here, and I mark off that distance over there, and that distance over there, and I come back and I label this thing. The letter that I have between one and six is S, so I label that S. The uh, T is between six and five, so that point over there would be T. I'm now going to take that distance across onto my view over here. Let's take that across. And take that across. 
Right, what have I got now? I've got my S and T, okay? S and T is going to be somewhere over here. Uh, let's just have a look. Um, S and T are on this line A. So where is T? T is down at the bottom somewhere over here. T and S is somewhere over there. How do I find those two? Well, I'm going to take a line going up from S and T over here. There I go. Once I've got those two intersecting points over there, I can draw in a line coming down to there and a line going up to there. And I can then draw in that curve over here. And everybody goes, hurrah, hooray, we've finished the drawing and we can move on to doing the developments. Now I'm going to stop you there and I'm going to say, no, hang on. We actually have a few other points that we need to find as well. Remember, there is also corner B. It's at the back. If that's me at the front over here, looking across, corner B also has two points on it. We need to find those two points as well. I'm going to take a line across and I'm going to label those two points. Let's call it W and Z over there. W and Z are a certain distance away from 3. There it is. You should find that those, that distance and that distance will be the same as the distance of S and T. I don't think that I did that line particularly accurately, but it should be exactly the same as this distance over here and over there. There we go. It actually is. All right, there we go. There's the two distances. So I've got between 3 and 4, I've got Z. So between 3 and 4, I must label that as Z. And between 3 and 2, I've got a W. There's 3 and 2, I've got a W. Please transfer that across onto here. W and Z, take that across. There's Z. Once you've got those numbers in there, um, you'll find that when you're doing your development drawing, you'll be able to do it. Remember, there's line 3 at the back here. Okay, so line, there'd be a point 3 where it intersects over there, going to my W in hidden detail, and from 3 going to my Z in hidden detail. It's covered over by these solid lines going to point 6 over there. Right. Okay, once we've done that, the next video I will do the branch pipe, and the next video I will do the main pipe.